Elliot, many congratulations. These are the scenarios that dreams and ambitions are built on. You are going to make your Crucible debut after a sensational victory over Martin O'Donnell. Yeah, and obviously just happy to get over the line in the end. Um, I went 3-1 three down, three, three down earlier on. And had a bad kick on a black, but ever since then I was in control really. Scored well in patches, nicked a couple of close ones and overall I've just done enough to get to 10. Well, I mean, I think that's a little bit modest. I mean, from 3-1 down against Martin, you've had a good win over Mike Dunn in round three of the qualifiers. Mm. You wouldn't necessarily have expected to win every remaining available frame. No, as, as I say, I just try to take one frame at a time. And I was obviously, I was actually delighted to be 6-3 up because I hadn't, I didn't feel as if I'd played great. And I, Martin had missed a few. So I was just delighted to be 6-3, to be honest. So went back to the hotel room. But we came off really late, so I literally went in, got a quick shower, changed my shirt and then had a quick practice and felt a little bit better. And um, I played a lot better in the evening session than I did this afternoon. Now, in that final frame, I think Alan Taylor was sweating a little bit because he's currently on the tournament's high break, which runs all the way through to the end of the Crucible on 145. And I thought at one point you were on for a cheeky 146. Yeah, I was, yeah. I've, obviously, I'm on 146. Um, and I've took the second last black with one red left. And I've just missed the cannon and then I've rattled the red down the rail for 146 and I won't, I won't, I won't say how much it was for because it's obviously soul destroying I just heard it was 15 grand so I'm absolutely gutted like but on to more serious matters you know you're at the crucible I mean you know you had a good run at the German Masters this year but mm. I think on paper you could say that's the biggest win of your career bearing in mind what was at stake um, possibly, I, d I didn't really say it like that. Obviously, I got the semis in Ireland. Um, obviously, I'm delighted to, qual to, to qualify for the Crucible, and it's obviously going to be a great experience. But no, I would probably say Ireland getting to the semis so far was the biggest win. Any preferences who comes out of the draw for you? To be honest, I'd, I'd want another crack at Ronnie. Obviously, we've played a few times and I've won a couple, but it, it, he's, the, he's the man you want to play on the main stage. I know a lot of people will say they, they don't want to play him, but if for me, if you know, if it's busy and there's a spectators allowed to come in, you want to play the main man on the main stage. Well, I do anyway. Well, that's a refreshing attitude because, as you say, quite a few people would say anybody but the Rockets. Yeah. So you're you're up for this. You're 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 pumped and you're full of confidence. Yeah, I, I honestly don't mind who I play. I know if I if I turn up and play well, I've got every chance. And you were telling me just before we recorded that you're mm. under pressure now because you've got your daughter, Hallie, and your fiancé, Stephanie, uh, sent you down here to the qualifiers with a, a, a firm message. Tell us what it was and what has to happen now. Yeah, we had, a, we had a deal that if I qualified for the Crucible, we've got to start making plans for the wedding and start booking places. So she'll be absolutely over the moon. I don't think she'll be too bothered about the snooker. She'll just be absolutely over the moon to start booking things to get married. So. Well, and you've got £20,000 at least with which to do that, never mind the 15 for the 146. Elliot, many, many congratulations. I cannot wait to introduce you at the Crucible for the first time. Thanks very much. I look forward to it. Cheers, mate. Thank you.